Hey guys, today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to do commentaries. First, you open up Movie Maker, because that's what we're going to do commentaries on. Waiting for it to load right here. My mouse is driving me crazy with that stupid loading screen sign. Yeah, you wait for it to load, and then when it's finished loading, you press add pictures, add videos, and pictures, and photos. And a little box should pop up with all those files. Yeah, a little box should pop up. And you go mm, get a picture or a video. I just picked my wallpaper. It could be just a picture or just a wallpaper. So... Yeah, and if it's just a picture, you want, might want to make it a little bit longer so it doesn't, like, you have enough time to make the whole commentary. And it doesn't just cut off like that. And the other program you need is called Sound Recorder. It's on most Windows computers already. It's almost on all Windows computers. It's almost already installed. It's called Sound Recorder. You, you click the little start menu search for sound recorder and it should be right there in programs you click in it you click on it and it's a little uh... it's a little program you can record sound and place it in movie movie maker like it's an actual wma file or music file then it comes out as an actual commentary but it's not copyrighted so cause you're making it and then uh, anytime you want, you just start recording. But if you're doing a live video, you might want to start the video a little bit first, then pop out the window and stop start recording so it's kind of in sync. Yeah, you could just say whatever you want in here, and whenever you're done, you could just say, yeah, you could just end recording or stop recording at any time you want. That's the handy thing about it. You don't have to, it doesn't get cut off or anything. Movie Maker it extends the time with the file too. Then once you're done, when you once you click stop recording, a little box should pop up with files where you want to save it. You want to save it somewhere where you know where it is. I just save it onto the desktop cuz that's the fastest way to find it. I just called it tests. Yeah, tests. Test dot dot dot. I just saved it onto my desktop. Then you could just get rid of the sound recorder. You could keep it open. Yeah, you could just get rid of the sound recorder. I got rid of it. Then you go back to home. You go to add music. Click that little symbol. Nowhere else. Otherwise, it'll go to settings. You find your WMA file or the sound recorder file. You just recorded. Click it. Click open. Or you could double click it. And it'll be right there. And that's basically it. It'll run right through it. And and that's pretty much it. Bye.